In this video, we're going to be talking about how to evaluate improper integrals. And in this particular problem, we've been asked to evaluate the integral on the interval negative infinity to zero of the function one divided by three minus four x. Now this particular type of improper integral is what we call case two. And case two is the specific type of improper integral where we have negative infinity as our lower limit of integration and some constant, in this case zero, as our upper limit of integration. That's case two. And there are six different cases, but in this video, we're just gonna be talking about case two, which again is negative infinity to some constant. So when we have case two like this, the formula that we need to remember here is this one, which tells us that the integral of some function f of x on the limits of integration negative infinity to some constant b is going to be equal to the limit as a approaches negative infinity of the integral of that function on the limits of integration a to b. So in other words, all we're doing here is taking our original integral and swapping out negative infinity for a. So we're putting a in in place of negative infinity. And the reason that we do that is because we can't just plug negative infinity into our function. We have to plug in some constant, which we'll call a, and then take the limit as a approaches negative infinity. That's the only mathematically correct way to evaluate at some infinite value here. So before we evaluate the integral, we wanna go ahead and swap out this lower limit of integration for a. So what we're gonna convert this to is the limit as a goes to negative infinity of the integral from a to zero, so we leave this zero constant, but we take out this negative infinity and put a in in place, and then we have one over three minus four x dx. So we've essentially used this formula here to convert the improper integral, which is case two, to this new format where we've taken negative infinity out of our limits of integration. So now at this point, we can go ahead and evaluate the integral. Because the denominator here of our fraction is linear, we only have this first degree x term and a constant, so we have x to the first power and a constant. Because this is linear, we can say that the integral is the natural log of the absolute value of three minus four x. But now remember, according to chain rule, we have to divide by the derivative of this inside function. Well, the derivative of three minus four x is just negative four, so we have to divide by negative four, or we can say we're going to multiply this by negative one fourth. So this is our integral. We're gonna be evaluating this on the limits of integration a to zero, and we're gonna be taking the limit as a approaches negative infinity. Now at this point, before we take the limit, we wanna go ahead and evaluate over the interval a to zero. So we're gonna say the limit as a approaches negative infinity of negative one fourth natural log of the absolute value of three minus four times the upper limit of integration here, we're gonna go ahead and plug in zero, so four times zero. And then we're gonna subtract whatever we get when we plug in a. Well, we're gonna say minus a negative one fourth, so in other words, plus one fourth natural log of the absolute value of three minus four a when we plug in a. Now before we evaluate at the limit, we can go ahead and simplify this as much as possible. So we'll say the limit as a approaches negative infinity, and we'll go ahead and switch the order of these terms. Since we have a positive term here and a negative term here, we'll lead with the positive. So we're gonna say one fourth natural log of the absolute value of three minus four a. And then we have minus one fourth natural log of, four times zero is obviously zero, so we just have three. We don't have to say the natural log of the absolute value of three, because of course three is just positive, so we'll say natural log of three. And now that we've simplified, we can go ahead and evaluate the limit as a approaches negative infinity. So in other words, we're gonna be plugging negative infinity in for a here. And when we do that, we'll get essentially negative infinity times a negative four. We're gonna get those negatives to cancel and it'll become a positive infinity because we'll have four times infinity, which we can just call infinity. So now we have three plus a positive infinity, which is still just positive infinity. And when we plug in larger and larger values into our natural log function here, the natural log function becomes larger and larger. So as a approaches negative infinity, this value right here will always continue to increase. And even though we're gonna divide it by four, because this value is always larger, that means the numerator is gonna get larger and larger. We're still just gonna divide by four. And that means therefore that this whole function here will continue to get larger and larger. 
and essentially it'll tend toward infinity. This value, 1 4th times natural log of 3, is just a small constant. So we have essentially infinity minus some small constant, which is just going to be infinity. And since we get an infinite value here, we know that our function here on the limits negative infinity to 0 diverges. So we're going to say, therefore, this diverges. When we get a positive or negative infinite value at the end of our problem, we know that the function diverges on the interval. If we get a real number answer, then we can say that it converges to the value that we found. But in this case, because we found that the limit as a approached negative infinity was positive infinity, we can say that this improper integral diverges.